Lee Sedol is the world champion, but still not good enough to win the challenge against a computer. He's 3-1 down in a best of five series. Sedol is black and Alpha is white. I've never really felt such intense pressure before. Today is my failure and not that of humanities. The game is massively popular in China, where it was invented about 2,500 years ago and throughout East Asia. Right through that time, victory has been the monopoly of humans, but now smart computer programmers from London are top. That's the real innovation, I think, uh, of AlphaGo, is that um, it basically gets a lot stronger through playing millions of games against older versions of itself and learning from its own mistakes and incrementally improving itself so that it's less likely to make those mistakes in the future. Is there a danger with this technology that it gets dangerous, that it can learn not just how to beat human beings in games, but maybe turn against us? I see the kind of AI that we're building as a tool to help enhance our own capabilities. Um, the technology itself is neutral, but we have to um, be very cognizant of the ethical responsibility of how we deploy these technologies. It depends on how society deploys them that will determine whether it's good or bad. It's only a game, but the applications are mind-blowing. Computers that learn could eventually solve the most complex problems concerning health or just work out how to clean your home. Stephen Evans. BBC News, South Korea.